a lot of things are happening in the shop today as far as getting ready for my summer 2018 racing season the bike which is right here does look kind of ratty not very good looking but it's 25 years old and I'll show you what's coming up next I purchased two of these Honda Ruckus used radiators and they come it's kind, of, it's kind of a weird design they come with an upper tube which is removable that goes right here and the lower tube is on the side the way this works and it's, it's genius I, I have to say is that on your motor, on, on your regular engine, you have a fan and a fan cover. What this does on the Ruckus is they don't put the radiator, excuse me, i got to get around this gyro. I love that little bike. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to balance the wheels on that one too, I think. But with my bike, I have a radiator in the front. And I have hoses that go down each side of the bike here to go to the cylinder. What the Ruckus did, which was a brilliant idea, was your air-cooled fan is approximately right here. And they put the uh, radiator right next to the fan so that it sucks air through it and it's very efficient. The problem with and it's got a great little design and everything in the back. The problem that I would have, I think, is that the um, SEF or the uh, racing pipe, that's the difference in size between the Honda and the uh, uh, Chinese radiator. I'm going to put this radiator I believe right here and uh, what I'm also going to do is behind here on this fittings right which is really nice because I'm going to put a fan right there which will be a computer fan 12 bolt which is over here these are two of my other fans that I, I used on another setup but I can pull the air through the radiator and out the back with this with these fans with one fan I mean I'm, I'm gonna try it I mean that's the, that's the fun of the whole deal is experimenting the next thing I'm gonna do is I have an electro um, micro, micro, micro electric fuel pump and it's it's 12 12 volt and I'm gonna hook this up between my carburetor and my fuel tank. The reason I'm going to do this is because what I'm wondering about is my bike will only go so fast it reaches a top speed and, and it basically sits there. Now I'm thinking okay is the power range reached its peak or has the small um, float bowl in the carburetor got only so much gas it can it can suck through the um, the gas tank so with a with a pump I'm going to turbocharge it this right here is a 12 volt flow valve which I'm going to use for alcohol injection that's going to be another thing I'm going to do maybe alcohol water freon something like that and I'm going to have to take off all the panels here, sand them down. They're really old panels. I have in my arsenal, I have an, a, a new one of these, which I'm not, I don't want to use. This is the stock one, and it was originally kind of gray. Uh, you can see right here where these, these holes are. This is where the air can flow through from the front right here from the from the uh, radiator and then I have a big open area right here on the 
the front panel. I'm going to have to take off this and for some reason I tried to spray this and it was slightly windy and it caught every little bit of dust and dirt. I'm going to go in and take some fine sand, wet sandpaper. I'm going to get all the little nubs and everything off here. I don't know if you can see them. Maybe you can see like right here. And then I'm going to um, shoot with uh, Claire with hardener on this panel and the front panel right here and the side panel which is right there. I have new side panels. I have new um, front panels. There's one right back here. I don't know if you can see it. It says Honda on it. And I also have a new, I have a new one of these. And the only thing I don't have, which I need, because this is broken right here. Let's, you can see where it's broken right there. They don't make this part anymore. Now one thing um, I should say for all my friends in America that buy parts in America is that they stopped making this two-stroke model in the year 2000. It is now 18 model years later and they're stopping making parts for it. What they do is they will stop making one mirror or they'll stop making the faceplate or like this bottom piece here that I can't find anywhere. What they've also done which I, I should have thought about this but I was just not not thinking is that I have a front brake cable right here it goes down to the wheel and I have a rear brake cable right here which was sticking for some reason and it comes out right down here this is a stock 25 year old brake cable now when I went to buy a new one I was thinking well I'll buy a front and a rear one well no dice they make the rear one which is nice I bought one of those but the front brake cable is not available it's simply not made anymore so if you are if you have a there's me hey hey if you have a uh, front brake cable or if you need parts then go and go to bikebandit.com bike which they have all the micro fishes and they can send the part directly to you if you need parts for your old D do or your old um, honda elite get in and buy them because they're not being made anymore and i want to thank um Hey, Danny. Danny from Israel. He uh, commented that my um, Bosch fuel pump right here, he suggested that I paint it blue like this one. And what I'm going to do is I think I've got some blue anodized I can put on the back of this. So I just want to say... Uh, Thank you, Danny, from the great state of Israel. And one day, of course, I'm too old and it won't happen, but I would love to stand on the ramparts of Masada and look down and imagine what it was like, you know, the Romans to be there. And then I would like to, uh, while I'm in that area, I'd like to go over and see the great pyramids of Giza because it's a, it's a beautiful country. But at my age, year after year, I don't know if I'll get there. But anyway, I wanna I just want to thank you, Danny, for that great advice. I learn a lot from uh, my subscribers. And the next thing up is I'm going to order a new back wheel and probably a new front wheel. Because these wheels that I have are the stock wheels. They have a little bit of rust on them on the inside and pretty soon they won't make the wheels anymore so the wheels are $125 stock a piece 
but they last forever and then I'm going to get a balancing kit by another subscriber of mine I believe it's 9 evert thank you 9 evert for uh, the great wheel balancing video and I'm gonna put that video on one of my videos and that, until he tells me to take it down and I want to show you uh, another great video maker that has uh, great videos on balancing moped wheels especially when you're going at uh, a high rate of speed. I should have thought of this years ago, but I didn't because I thought, well, they're moped wheels. They're, you don't need to balance them. They're just moped wheels. No, there are wheels and they have to be um, balanced for, they, they, they spin out of balance at speed. And of course, here's my gyro. I just love this thing. I, got, I had a chance to buy another one for a few hundred dollars. But it would it would take me a thousand dollars to put it back in this condition, and I thought it was just a little too much money. So I don't know. Maybe one day I'll buy another one of these. Um, I know where one is. It's the same place I bought this one, and I just love fixing it up and making it uh, great. And I can balance the, these rear wheel rear rear tires too. All right. Anyway, thank you, Danny, and thank you. Danny from Israel and Danny or uh, Evert about the wheel balancing. You guys have a good day.